Hello my friends and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always I am your hunting guide Jeff. Uh, I'm standing under a bridge right now so you'll probably hear car traffic above me. But uh, I'm in a new creek. Well new to me it's probably a couple million year old creek. But uh, I'm going to be walking this creek. I'm in a Kimswick limestone area so I might find some trilobites. I might find some geodes. And with any luck I'll find some uh, place to see fossils. Which would be amazing up here in Missouri. They do exist. Just hard to find. So come with me, let's see what we find. Well, this is interesting. The first thing I got going on is a spring coming out of the rock here. Uh, even more so is there are bones in said spring. However, those are not ancient bones. Those are all fairly modern deer, but that water is super clear coming out of there. I'm interested to know how those got in there. Huh. This, of course, is the Kimswick limestone. I, uh, I won't be bashing on this because it is part of the bridge support. And the last thing I want is uh, Missouri Department of Transportation to be very cranky with me. So, I'm gonna walk that way down the creek and see what I can find. All right, you guys, there it is. My first fossil of the day. Nice gastropod right there in the rock. Yep, that is a gastropod. Very cool. That's going in the bag. This is in limestone. So I believe this is the Kimswick limestone, if I'm not mistaken. So this goes in the bag. And we're going to keep walking down this creek. It's fairly warm weather today. Not as warm as it was when I was in Florida. It's uh, going to be 50-something today. Oh, that's my... Uh, that's my shaker screen that uh it's actually kyle's i borrowed that from him uh my gloves and a little scoop shovel just in case so anyhow gonna head down that way now for those of you wondering how i found that i found it by doing just what i'm doing right now i am walking the creek keeping my eyes on the ground looking for anything that looks unusual now this is a new creek so most things look unusual i'm wearing my chest waders today so i can get into some fairly deep water i uh that's a bean pod it's not a bone but yep that's just what i do i walk these creeks i keep my eyes peeled to the ground to something that looks not exactly right and when I find something that doesn't look right, I pick it up and take a closer look. That gastropod I didn't have to take and pick up. I, I could already tell what it was from a distance. I pick up a lot of fake arrowheads. Uh, I've never found any artifacts myself, except for the one in my backyard years ago, which was just kind of ridiculous the way I found it. But there's a lot of chert in this area, which means a lot of native peoples would have worked on stuff. My bag slipped. So, see this piece? Let me, so see this piece? Kind of looks like it's been worked, but uh, it has not. That is all natural that happened to that, which is kind of a bummer. One day I'll find an arrowhead or something cool like that. And hopefully when I do, I've got my camera with me to show you guys. All right, well, not a fossil, but I did just kick this out of the ground. That's a nice geode with a rattle to it. That's going into the bag. Beautiful piece of chert right there, too. I hear ducks. Ducks will show me where the fossils are. Me and ducks get along real good. I'm thinking that wall face right over there is where I'm going to look really hard. Do a little bit of chipping. See if I can't pop anything out. Well guys, I'm striking out pretty hard on fossils, but I'm finding some neat geodes along the way. This one's hollow. Over there is a nice little waterfall I had to walk around. But I'm going to keep going this way for a while. I'm going to check this bluff face here. And uh, if I don't find anything soon, probably gonna head back. I don't have too much stuff to show you. Uh, I'll post this video, it'll be a short one. 
Well, I'm not going to take it, but it's weird. This is a chert nodule. And it's kind of cool looking, but I don't feel like carrying it back. It might be here next time I'm down. That is a weird piece. Yeah. Well, you guys, I'm at the next bridge. I haven't seen too terribly much down here. That's not to say I won't be back at this creek. But now it is time for me to make the walk back upstream, which is that way behind me. I could probably walk down that way a little bit more, but I got too much stuff in my bag and I don't feel like carrying it. Well, you guys, I didn't find any Mastodon stuff, so I may as well go where I know they have it. Let's go check out the visitor center. All right, you guys, well, I didn't find any bones today. I did find a couple cool gastropods, but I decided to take you into Mastodon State Park and show you some of their exhibits. This place is actually really cool. Uh, it's right here in the St. Louis area. It's, um, there is no, of course, digging here because it is a state park, but uh, let me show you some of the stuff they found. So that is a peccary. Uh, if you recall correctly, whenever I was down in Florida, I found peccary teeth. This is a long nose peccary, and I'm gonna scoot in a little bit uh, so you guys can see what the teeth look like and see the matchup. All right, see those teeth there? That is what I found in Florida. Sadly, I did not find any of those cool teeth. Those are the incisors, but that's all right. This means I'll have to go back down to Florida again or keep searching areas around here. There is Ice Age megafauna in the Missouri area that I'm sure hasn't been found yet. This, you guys, is the skull of a modern beaver. This is the skull of a giant beaver. You can see how long those teeth are. The one I have is eh, it's about a quarter of the size. It has been broke off. But these things were massive. Eight foot long, about 400 pounds. They got big. 25 inch long, five, 25 inch long, five inch wide tails. I mean, can you imagine what they sounded like whenever they smacked the water? These little guys, 55 pounds, are loud. These guys had to be insane. Now this is a replica. You can tell by, by the look of it, that is resin, but that is a giant beaver. The tooth I have is an upper tooth. And unlike the modern beaver, they didn't chew trees. These guys actually drug their teeth along the bottom of the water and they ate plants that way. Interestingly enough, because they are a rodent, their teeth would continue to grow throughout life. So they'd have to keep them chipped down. Much like a modern beaver, if they don't chip their teeth down, they actually, it will kill them. They will grow through their skull. This is a big old mastodon tusk. This is an adult mastodon. They were smaller than the mammoth. This one is about eight foot long. It says about 24 inches around. What's interesting is whenever you look at them, I'll bring you over here, it almost looks like tree, which is really making me want to go check out where I was at earlier today. is the femur of a mastodon and we'll get down to where we actually see a mastodon here in a minute mastodon teeth you'll notice they are a little different looking than the mammoth teeth pretty close but a little different i have found parts of mastodon teeth before um, years and years and years ago along the uh, mississippi river here we go, here's what I was talking about with teeth. You can see the mammoth tooth, which is over on the left, and the mastodon tooth, which is on the right. The mammoth tooth was more of a, uh, more of a softer tooth type. Uh, they ate mostly grass though, whereas the mastodons, they were tree eaters. They would eat leaves and barks off of trees. I'm gonna scoot in a little bit so you guys can see this a little. So here we go, here is the mastodon tooth. You can see how it, it looks more tooth-like. Whereas the mammoth tooth over here, it kind of has the uh, same look of like a horse tooth does on the back, which was they ate more grasses and whatnot. 
And here we go, guys. This is their Mastodon skeleton. This is the American Mastodon, the Mammut Americanum. And he's pretty darn big. Now, it's not as big as a mammoth would have been. Mastodons were eight, nine foot or so. The mammoth was 13 foot and larger. So don't get me wrong, it was huge. And, and oh look, there's a ground sloth. Ground sloths are probably one of my favorite place to see epic ice age animals. If any of these animals are still alive, I wish it would be the ground sloth. They're super cute, I think. And then of course a family of long-faced peccary. Like I said, they're like a pig. Peccaries still exist today. Not this species, though. I don't believe this species still exists, but there are still peccaries around. But look at the cute little babies. Oh my goodness. Alright, you guys. Me and Marty the Mastodon are going to walk down. We're going to check out the bone beds. Now, they're not digging anything outright at the moment, so we won't be able to see any bones. But this is where they excavated all the pieces from. So let's go give that a look and uh, we'll see where all their stuff came from. All right, you guys, we're making our way down to the bone bed. It's about a quarter of a mile walk from the museum. And what's crazy is you can see just how close it came to the road. They, uh, they luckily turned this into a park and they were able to save this area. Sadly though, I guarantee you there's more bones under that road than you can shake a stick at. Lots of history lost. It happens all the time. Uh, there was a place where, in Indiana, where my great uncle took us to dig up fossilized ferns and the such. And we only had a little bit of time to do it because back in 1982 or 83, I was a little kid, they, uh, they put in a strip mall. Yay, strip mall. And the worst part is, is that strip mall is now pretty much defunct and out of business. So not only will the fossils never be seen again, but people won't shop there. These trees, it was a conifer, lots of pine. The climate was a lot different, but there were mineral springs in this area. The mastodon and other animals would come down to drink. And sometimes they'd get stuck in the really nasty mud and sink to the bottom. Kind of like a La Brea tar pit situation, only with mud. So many of the bones were well, well preserved. They've also found bone out here that has had Clovis points in it from Clovis Man. So ancient Native Americans. In fact, that was uh, before they were even tribes as we know them today. So I will say this much, when the Mastodons lived here, it was a whole lot quieter. Because that right behind me is Interstate 55. In fact, this park is here because whenever that was going in, they wanted to save this land, save the bone beds, and it's a pretty good thing they did. 1976, this became a park, and uh, they started the excavation. Now, there were excavations before then, but 1976 is whenever they really started it and found a lot of really interesting things. Well, guys, that was our trip to Mastodon State Park. This is the end of the video. Hamilton decided he didn't want to be in it for some reason. I think he's jealous of Marty the Mastodon. But Meriwether doesn't care. She figures she's a saber-toothed cat. So we hope we can get a like, share, and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you the next time we're out hunting rocks. Have a good one. Bye. This is the sad Hamilton portion of the video. This is why he didn't want to be in it, isn't it? Dad, stop taking my picture.